three victory. What a game that was. What are your thoughts? Um, well, I've got to calm down a little bit first. Um, good game to watch, I would imagine, for the neutral. Uh, really pleased that we've won, obviously. Through to the match from the FA Cup. Like I said last week, the club needs an FA Cup run. Um, the game itself, uh, I didn't think there was a lot in it first half. We didn't start particularly well. Obviously conceded a poor goal, avoidable as well. Kids ran from the left-hand side, you know, on challenge really into our box, which was disappointing from our point of view. But I thought we reacted really well to that in terms of we didn't create loads of chances first half, but we did the ugly stuff right, you know, winning our headers, first and second, middle of the park, and got a foothold back in the game. And you know, that they their threat then was really more counter-attack um, and they were a threat because the two, the three lads up front for them were, were pacey um, but we stayed with them and away from home you know, we did all the things that you needed to do yeah. what we'd done away at Michelob and away at Altringham and gradually got a foothold in the game I was glad that half time came obviously and just to tweak one or two things and get into the lads a little bit thought we were feeling a little bit sorry for ourselves because you know, we lost on Monday but in terms of second half reaction you know, showing um, some real quality as well. I mean, we, we played well second half, we moved the ball really quickly. For 20 minutes, they couldn't get out. You know, putting the ball into good areas, crosses coming in, goal scoring opportunities. And the biggest thing for me, character. You know, every time they got back into the game, we showed character to go and, and get ahead in the game. And that's a big thing for me. Well, I said that we played well second half, but the character of the dressing room to make sure we didn't lose today was fantastic. Yeah. The um, bounce back ability, I think we call it, wouldn't we? Yeah, well, you, you, you know, um, we deservedly go 2 1 up. Um, they equalise, we score a great goal from a free kick, and you think, well, you know, we'll win the game with that and we'll set down. Goalkeeping error for, you know, for them to get back in the game, holds his hand up. Adam's you know, allowed one, if you like, because it's been superb for us since I've walked through the door. Um, but just character and just the drive to make sure one that we didn't lose if we could nick a goal and, and win it fantastic but I just saw it from what I've seen the last couple of games I saw a different stuff of Rangers second half you know we, we were driving on dropping on all second balls and they couldn't get out they looked dead you know and barring the counter attack with the pace they got up front they never really hurt us yeah. you know and we we looked like we could score every time we attacked and that's the pleasing thing and like I'll, I'll, I'll revert back to it character because um, we were only three weeks into a season. You know, let's get this straight. Yeah. We had a, a disappointing result on Monday, uh, one which we're all really disappointed about. Um, but we've bounced back really quickly, and we've been questioned by our own fans, and rightly so, because we didn't do that well on Monday. But we're only three weeks in, and this is a team that's growing together. So, like I said, after Monday's game, new players in the dressing room, players learning about me, me learning about one or two three or four new players, making sure we find the right form, another right formation, but above all, showing character after a defeat, and there you go. And just add a bit more context to it, they're the first team to beat them at home in so over 40 matches. Well, these are a good side, you know, yeah. and they, they got promoted, deservedly so, we scored a lot of goals last season, and, you know, we knew about them because we'd had them watched, and, you know, we'd got reports, two reports on them home and away. But it's not until you turn up and see the way they play, and a lot of these lads were with Pat Raymond at, at, at Sporting the season we won, won the division. So we knew we knew they were a good side. We knew they got pace and energy. Um, and you turn up, and you know it's a small pitch, tight ground, and you know you're going to be under the cush. Um, but we've got through, and that's the main thing. And, and we've got through playing well, which is pleasing. So it's on to Tuesday now. How yeah. are well, I, I'm not sure what their result is. I don't know whether they, whether there's a draw there, or not. I'm not sure whether we are playing. Also, if we are, great. Let's go on a little bit of a run now. Um, we're trading. Okay. Well, well, we'll be on Tuesday. All being well. Looking forward to it. You know, um, like I say, three weeks in, still learning about players. They're learning about the way we want them to play. Um, but other than the Monday night. Uh, the Monday daytime result against Ainsford. I'm pleased with where we're at and, and, and above all the character to bounce back when things are against you, especially away from home, like I say, a difficult place. Um, so well pleased. I'm pleased for the club. You know, it's about time we won a game in the FA Cup. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves having a run in it. Let's let's win a game first in the FA Cup. Fingers crossed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Let's, uh, let's hopefully get a home draw. Um, whatever opposition, but let's get a home draw so we can get a big gate. And, um, generate some revenue and obviously the finances from today they help don't they yeah. help any club at any level and um, you know let's, uh, let's hope we get home draw Monday
and then uh, win on Tuesday against Malzo. Great. Okay. No worries. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Cheers.